Bishop Lamont has been officially released from Dr. Dre's Aftermath Records. The Carson, California-based rapper signed to Dr. Dre in 2005. Bishop Lamont is currently a free agent and is in talks with various labels. Questions on there. What the fuck? Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Come in, come in. Oh, yes. Okay, so anyway, yeah, there's a guy named Let's Chess. Bitch ass DJ Blad, <laughs> who started that room, and I was like, wow, last time I checked, it's still an aftermath, but that's news to me. This isn't the first time this happened, but you know, DJ Blad is who he is. I hollered at the nigga, and I was like, that's some whole shit to do. Well, I heard it from higher ups, this is this and this and that. I'm like, bro, you could have called me, and I would have told you what it is. I got it from a source. I'm like, no, I'm the source, nigga, but you know, niggas are gonna do what they gotta do to get attention because I won't do interviews with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, the nigga was trying to get my number off Twitter. Yes, yeah, so I'm still on Aftermath. <laughs> I'm the last dude on Aftermath, like I told you before, so it's, it's an honor, it's a tribute. But it's just like, wow, niggas hating because I don't want to fuck with them. You know what I mean? And I called the dude up through my man, Jam 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 you know what I'm saying, the SRC, and I was like, what? But anyway, enough about that. Fuck DJ Vlad, I'm going to have to do <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Y'all heard enough right there, man. That's Bishop Lamont, man. The rumors was, was swirling big and heavy this week, man, about him being let go. Yeah, because, see, the thing was is that the first part with DJ Vlad was saying that, you know, he was off the label. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and then Bishop hit back. What's fucked up, what we don't have audio or anything for is um, Elliot Wilson, previous owner or previous the editor-in-chief editor yep. of Double uh, XL. Froze in the house. What's good, man? The, <laughs> the previous editor-in-chief over at Double XL was, um, you know, Elliot Wilson, yeah, I, yeah. and he's got a website, rapradar.com. Shouts to Rap Radar. That's a hot ass site. But oh, they, they said it. Over there? All right. They said it's been confirmed that Bishop was dropped. Oh, okay. So that's. Which then, I mean, but there's never retaliation. But I don't think Bishop even looks at Rap Radar, to be honest with you. Uh, probably not, man. But, I mean, shoot, that's. I don't know. I mean, we try to reach out, and we was trying to get him set up, you know, for an interview so yeah. we could come on here and, you know. Set the fucking record straight. Let us know what it is. We ain't I been tried. able to lock that down yet. It still could happen tonight. Nothing's but, wrong. Yeah, I just want to send something out regardless, man. It's like, to me, it's like some people, like, the way Vlad, I don't know, man. The motherfucker, he just rubbed me the wrong way sometimes yeah. with the way he does shit. Like, I ain't going to say he sounded giddy, but it's like, why Why would you put out, I mean, why, why wouldn't you just blog that? If that's what it was. Why you got to do audio and yeah. all this shit? Oh, yeah, he had to do his little voice yeah, on Yeah, man, you know, I didn't, I didn't really get that part of it, so... You know, for me, I fuck. I could care less, man. If Bishop dropped off aftermath or not, shit. That's the dude. That's the homie. I'm gonna fuck with him. Oh, it's we gonna, gonna fuck with him regardless. No doubt. So I mean, label or no label, he always got a home. Always welcome here. Yeah. Period. Because the dude is one of the the livest, yep. coolest motherfuckers that we've you know had on the show. Not. The, I mean, on top of that though, he's one of the hardest working dudes yeah. I, I don't I've ever heard of. Man. Works with dude, everybody. Works reaches out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The studio rat always in there always working so yeah hey you know bishop if you hear this shit or whatever if you got that text message hey get at us man i'd love to clarify that shit and set the fucking record straight now that but, being said i gotta wonder what he has to say about the game track yeah i'm a, yeah let's let me go ahead and play that shit yeah. that shit yeah, i don't think this shit is dude this ain't official to me man what that, oh that, game yeah. it might be old yeah this it is could be old shit supposedly a diss that game sent bishop's way man check this shit out if y'all ain't heard it already Beats hot though. You like that, boo boo? Yeah. The Lord of the Dead, the tongue shots to the head. Heard Dr. Dre's daughter trying to get some street cred. Motherfucker, I got it. Hip hop pulled it, I shot it. And blood faking and dumb cheating when colors playing rocket. Who you think you fooling, cuz? You ain't never shot shit. Andre Young's bitch, stay riding pops, dick, yeah. G Malone, tell blood to run alone. For it's nine gang affiliated ass, meet the chrome, yeah. I respect the nigga Spider more than you. Cause at least if I see cuz, I know. We gon' shoot, and I'ma shoot back on my pile root tat. Jim Jones and Lil Weezy, I sue root that. Red rags in New York, red rags in Boston. If I die today, bitch, you be a red rag dolphin. I respect no one but your gun. So pull it, cock it, and tell Dre I'm on one. Yeah, I guess you're right. That beat wasn't that bad, man, but... <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, but I, I don't know, the man. The auto-tune shit says that's recent. The auto-tune shit shows it recent. What up, Fro, by the way? What's good? Fro in the building. What's good, 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 good. Oh, I'm, in, I'm in this motherfucker, as they say. <laughs> yeah, man. That yeah. shit, though, it's like, 
I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know why you would auto tune a diss track. You know what I'm saying? First of all, that's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's kind of different. But hey, man, fuck that. I try, you've tried for game consistently. Who was it you spoke to, Mr. Martin? Uh, yeah, yeah, his, yeah. Man, Martin, I called over there. I called over there Friday. Oh, I you? begged. <laughs> Dude, what you mean you beg? I beg. I called. I said, "Look, did you, did you, did you ask for some, offer some uh, cheeseburgers?" <laughs> Am I on? Am yeah, I you on? You on, man? There you go. There you go. There we go. So, Cheese, so, cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that that's the shit, though. Is dude, he won't interview about it. He won't talk about it. Well, I don't you know. I mean, shit. I mean that's. I, I mean, that ain't the only reason. Shit, we got game on the show. I got him fucking a million other questions to ask the dude. <laughs> It's, you know, aside from Bishop, but, man, I don't know, man. But regardless, Bishop in the, the news cycle heavy this week, man. So that's what it is. And But we might as well keep it on the West while we're at it, man. Um, You just heard this shit. You heard the, the suit whoop reference from, you know, game. And there's a million other people, you know, repping Bloods or repping Crips or whatever. But um, yeah. DJ Quick, one of my, you know, shit, he's one of the dudes I look up to in the game. Yo, right? no doubt, Producer-wise, you know, MC-wise, total package. Doing a damn thing, a fucking West Coast legend. Shit, a fucking legend, period. But dude did an interview, man, and he said, um, gangster rap is dead, man. Here go his exact words. I want to see I how people feel shit. about this, man. Some of the, the, the younger rappers that I've been hearing come out from the West, not to just dump on them, but they're all talking the, the they're all talking shit that we can't even relate to or won't relate to anymore. Like the gangbanging thing is trite. It's done. It's it's burnt. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't gangster rap is is it was a it was like New Jack Swing. It ran its course. Fuck it. Leave it alone. Do some other shit. You know? Okay. I yeah, feel let you. It let it go, buddy. Man, I don't know, man. I see, to me, that's another one I can't really... I mean, it, it ain't like it was. No doubt. I mean, but... but, but, but still he go, said, you're going to have people repping colors from now to infinity. That shit ain't going to stop. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it's more of a... More, you want me to stop? You think that, uh, I mean, <laughs> you, you, me you think going? that Quick is out of you touch? Like more? Is that's what I'm saying. I mean, to me, that to me, that sounds like a dude who's made it, you know, like the Dre track. That's what I thought of. Been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? It's like Quick used to be on the blood shit to the fullest. Pyru this, Pyru that. Yeah. But it's like, True. you know, now you, you know, nearing all 40, you successful. You done sold a lot of records. You're still producing. You're still getting paid. And you're not living in Compton, you know, most likely. I'm sure he got a nice house somewhere good. So you were moved. But to speak down on the people that's still, you know, in Watts, that's I still mean, who, in Compton, yeah, still yeah. in autumn areas where that shit is still, it's not banging like it was, you know, back in the, the fucking 80s and early 90s. But that shit still goes on, man. So to tell, How you know, the young people that, to, for them to talk about it or reference it anymore, that is trite. I don't agree with that, man. So, so, so uh, to, kind of off topic, not really. Spider Lope is part of G Unit, really, yeah. officially. Yeah. But G Unit's under Aftermath. Yep. So is Quick cool with Aftermath? He's cool with Aftermath. Yeah. And, and Dre. Yeah. Spider Lope's a, a crip. crip. Yeah. And I mean, Snoop, right. Snoop and Quick have always gotten along. It's, I mean, that's oh, that's it's true. Not crip the Bushes versus Al Qaeda, nigga. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's just you know yeah, affiliations man. and shit. It's, you know, it is what it is, but I mean, when they rap it, I mean, they handling business, so I mean, you set shit aside, you know, yeah. and even, I mean, shit, even when it's been beef, you know what I'm saying, they usually don't bring the, the blood and crip aspect into it, usually, it's, you know, why, me against this dude. Why is that even an issue at this point, though? I mean, why, or why is that even a topic of discussion at this point? Is that shit even really relevant anymore? I mean, not even, I, not I, looking I at the business aspect, I'm talking about from the gang aspect, after seeing the, the, the... And I don't know anything about Compton. I don't know anything about yeah. South Central. I'm not, not I've never West been Pier. there. I'm not a West Coast dude. But I mean, shit, we probably better serve asking Kev or some of them cats that still live out there in Cali. But yeah. from what I know and from what I've heard, it's still it's still in play. The shit still happens. I mean, you is it I'm like saying? it used to be, though? I, not not You're talking as about, like, bad. Menace, menace Day? <laughs> yeah. Menace of Society? Yeah. Fucking yeah. Boys in the Hood bad. shit? Fuck, I you mean. saw the spider Loak video? They was trying to shoot the video and they got dumped Oh, that's on. true. Exactly. Yeah, I mean... That's, that's what, what I mean, I'm Obama's wondering. only been president for, like, 100 days or some shit. Uh, are the blood... <laughs> motherfucker, are the we can't change it all in one. Change gonna come, my dude. Uh, but be patient, my pale face, yeah. friend. Patient, <laughs> friend. He got he got to make it happen, man. Are give the, him give him some time. Are the Bloods and the Crips? The question. So the question is: Are the Bloods and the Crips still even, still banging? Are they still banging? And and then 
if so, then then Quick has no fucking argument. That's I mean, this I'm sounds saying. really gay. I mean, because it's almost like from a marketing aspect. Yeah. Who was the saying, we? Who was the we? Quick was included. In it is what it is. He That's said young, out to us. young West Coast rappers yeah. is who we reference. But he said that, that we can't relate to it. We who's we like. Yeah, the Millionaire Club? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think exactly. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all are made it. Y'all established. No doubt. So, no, they can't relate. I can't fucking relate. I'm not part of that culture neither. But, no doubt. you know what I'm saying? But to put it on the young ones like that, to tell them they can't, I mean, shit, dog. I disagree, man. I disagree fully. That's another know, shit man. that we can talk about. That's a running topic, man. For sure. But we're going to talk, rewind a little bit to <laughs> last weekend, which we already touched on somewhere. All right, all right. But yeah, we got to talk about that talk that sh- that jacket you wore in here. You know what I'm saying? All right. They rep. They did their thing. But um, I got to talk to you about some of your fans, man. Some of them motherfuckers, boy. All right. Oh, man. They something else. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we got footage. They something else. This name tag right here, man. Right out the fucking mitten. Produced by none other than Black Milk himself. What up, though? Check this shit out, man. Hoodhype.com episode 87. Yeah. 